Hey everyone, it's Anna Wheaton here from Nudge Nudge Ink Ink. Welcome to my YouTube video for today. I'm featuring a new suite and range of products that is coming next month, March 2023, called Hello Irresistible. We have this suite of stamp set and dies, some paper and then some beautiful loose frosted dots and there's also some other items which will be revealed on March 1st to all. But I'm going to show you today a technique called the rock and roll technique using this suite. But of course it is a technique that you can apply to all sorts of stamps. So firstly, what I have in front of me is some of the paper from the suite and I'll just go through and show you really quickly uh, what they are. They're six by six papers. So you can see you've got beautiful detail of flowers and foliage on one side and then patterns on the other. These patterns can be cut out using the dies. And then you've got this lovely sort of watercolory wash on the back. Now you'll see as we're going through, there's a variety of colors, but one of the color combinations is this sort of yellow to pinky orange. And there is word that there might be a new yellow color coming, but we don't know for sure. So what I've done with this rock and roll technique is just gone to use some Daffodil Delight and some Flirty Flamingo. Flirty Flamingo is one of the colors in this DSP pack, but Daffodil Delight is not mentioned. So I've chosen one of the pieces from the pack and I'm just going to cut that down for my card front to be 10 by 14.3, which is just half a centimetre, smaller than the front of a card. And then I'm going to attach it to a basic white thick card base. But first I'm going to run this through one of the embossing folders that is also coming on March the 1st. So we have three types of embossing folders that come together. It's a set of three for $53. Um, so you can't buy them separately. There's this cool dotty effect, which is almost like a golf ball. So you could have one side of the paper with the lumps or the, the circles bulbing out and the other side with them indented like a golf ball. There's this one, which is sort of a stylized poinsettia, and this one that I'm going to use now, which is sort of a crisscross effect. So it is a 3D embossing folder, meaning that it's a bit thicker. So I'm going to bring in my stamp cut and emboss machine. I'm going to use plate or base number one, Add the embossing folder, fold first, and then plate number four, which gives us the right thickness to send that through. Now the end result is that. That I'm going to stick to the front of my card. Now you can either use your, <clears throat> your seal or your Tombow. If you're using your seal or any glue runner, just don't press too hard because you can press some of the pattern out. And also I suggest you apply your adhesive to all four sides because sometimes with embossing, it does buckle a little bit and you've got a bit of um you can see there perhaps that it's just a little bit bowing so i have adhesive there so if i just push it down there we have it now i have a layer that i've already cut which is cut using the scallop contours set of dies these are in the annual catalog and to be honest i bought them more for these and this, so for these scallopy outlines, rectangles and this scallop, I've hardly used them with the stamp set that they match, but they do coordinate with a stamp set. So that one is cut out using one of those. 
And then for the for the technique we're going to use, I'm going to bring in a post-it note, my flirty flamingo ink, and one of the flowers from the stamp set. So this is the stamp set. There's actually two size flowers. We're going with the smaller one. You've got two different sets of leaves, this tiny little set of leaves and some nice splatters. What I'm doing here is stamping on my post-it note up the top where there's going to be some adhesive of, this, of the post-it note in behind there. And then I'm actually going to pull off two of them not one of them, two of them. That way I'm just cutting out two at the same time. And cut around to create a mask. Now when I cut, what I tend to do is just leave a tiniest little edge there. Now this is where I'm cutting through the top of the post-it note so they're sticky on this the back of this bit I'm cutting back down to where I started. Okay that's going to be my mask. Next step is to bring in my Daffodil Delight and my stamp and I'm just going to stamp that up in completely in the daffodil delight and then i'll bring in my flirty flamingo this is where the rock and roll technique comes in so instead of stamping this flat i'm just going to roll it round on the edges like so now you won't see much different on the difference on the stamp itself but when i go to stamp it you'll see that I get a two-tone effect there. I wanna make sure I don't stamp too hard. I don't want these edges hitting the paper because remember they went into that floaty flamingo ink. No matter what color, I don't want that ink showing. So there you have a two-tone effect. Now I wanna stamp another flower. So this is where my mask comes in. I can put that straight over that flower to mask it or hide it. And in this case, we do have masking paper, but in this case, I like the post-it because it doesn't stick down completely. All right, I've cleaned off my stamp and doing that again, full stamp in the Daffodil Delight, rock and roll through the Flirty Flamingo. And now I'm just going to overlap those ever so slightly. And then I can also add a mask over that one. Then I'll bring in my soft sea foam, which is another one of the colors from the paper. And I can stamp my leaf here so that it is coming out from behind the flowers because they're masked. Okay, I'm gonna go with another flower on my, my arrangement as my Stamp and chamois case just fell down, but that's okay. I don't need it. Okay, Daffodil Delight. Rock and roll. And I'll put this one like that. I'm going to close off those two colours for now. Bring in my leaf again. Now this time I want to have a leaf coming out of here. So I'm going to take this mask and shift it down to here to mask these two flowers. And stamp those leaves there. And I'm going to add them here as well. Like so. Now if I pull those away, there I've got my three overlapping flowers and I've got my leaves there poking out from behind. 
Now, because you've cut these, they will last a while before they lose their stick. So what I suggest you do is just open up your stamp case and you can stick them inside, ready for future use. Bringing back in my card base. I wanna flip this over. I'm going to add this with dimensionals. And my dimensional hint is always to give them, well, not always, because sometimes I forget, but if you cover the, your dimensional sheet with a highlighting pen, it makes it really easy to tell which dimensionals you've peeled the backing off. So you can see there, they're all pink. Now I, I've obviously peeled that one off. So otherwise, what you can end up doing is you have some of them peeled off and then you've got the backings on the other ones and you're touching them and feeling if they're sticky or not. All right. Put that in place. So you can see there the flowers are picking up the colour combo from behind. Then... Somewhere here, I've got a piece of flirty flamingo, a stamp. This, uh, I'm going to stamp a thanks because thank you cards are always handy. This is from Sentimental Park. We've got some of these um, sentiments that are written in this beautiful font that you can combine with some of these that are more typeface. So you could say, thanks, you are amazing, or let's celebrate your graduation. I'm just going for a plain old thanks. Not that a thank you is ever plain. Onto a piece of floaty flamingo, and then I'm going to use Label Me Fancy, which is this shape actually easier to see if I turn it over like that and line it up so you, if you use your punches from behind you can see exactly where they're going to go now I'm going to put this on here uh, yeah I think I'll put it there so what I'm going to do is add one dimensional on that corner I don't want the dimensionals all over because that is already dimensionaled. So if I just do that, grab my Tombow, and put that in place there. It's stuck there, and then that liquid glue will dry. Now the other beautiful part of this suite are these loose frosted dots to bring these up close so they are obviously the pink are popular i've used these at a team meeting and um the color that's left the most of is yellow that's what i'll use so they're loose meaning they don't have an adhesive backing and they do vary in size so whilst the large ones you may be able to stick on by rolling up a glue dot your best to use your liquid glue. Don't try and put your glue on those because they're too small to hold. So what you can do is just put tiny dots of adhesive. One, two, three. Oh, I'm going to add another one here. We'll see how that looks. And then with my take your pick, take your pick tool. It's got a putty end, so this is full of sticky putty. So that means you can just press it on to one of those to pick them up. That one's a little pinky one, which will suit fine for the color combo. Um, let me go for a smaller one, which is so light it just gets picked up again. So see the size difference there? Um, we'll put a large one with it. So there's three colours in these dots. There's the pink, 
there's the yellow and there is the green. We've got some colors coming back in this suite, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock, which are colors that retired a while back, um, but favorites for quite a few people. So who knows, March the 1st, we may find out that we can order those again if we want them. So top up our card stock. I don't have any of those left because I tend to sell retired things. Even if I know there's going to be colors coming back, I find it's better just to move them on. I'm gonna leave it at that. So there you have the rock and roll technique. Let me show you another version. So this, oops, this is the same idea, different piece of DSP, but it's the same sort of color combo. And that's one of the other embossing folders. This, the, um, it's sort of like a poinsettia. I've stamped two flowers, but you can see that they are masked and you can see that I've done the rock and roll technique. So there you have two beautiful cards using the irresistible blooms. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Bye.